Families of the 43 passengers of the Abuja Kaduna train attack still in the terrorist then took their protest to the Ministry of Transportation in Abuja on Monday. They said they will not stop protesting until their loved ones are freed. Viewers are warned that some of the pictures in this report may be disturbing. On the hours of Monday, the streets Housing the Federal Ministry of Transportation and other organizations in Abuja was barricaded by the families of the remaining 43 of the ill-fated Abuja Kaduna train passengers to protest for the release of their adoptees, stopping workers from gaining access into the buildings. This online video which showed the inhumanly treatment of the remaining 43 we are working with their emotion as tears, anger, and disappointment characterize the situation. action. They will be released. After the breaking of the prison, they release some people. We knew that they actually they paid on them below. We don't have on them below to pay. So now that we are not going to the point of beating them, now we want the federal government to know that yes, these people that are in the bush that have been beaten, they have. For them, the federal government appears to have failed so far to secure the release of the kidnapped passengers who have been in captivity in the last 117 days. As they insist to continue occupying the entrance of the federal government owned building until the loved ones are freed and handed over to them. Mommy, you know well with your health, eh? You think you can continue with this protest? I can continue. Even if I die for road, if I die for road. Finish. If I die for road, where my picking come outside? Even I die, even I die today, my picking come outside. I, my dead, my dead body go happy. We are here to get our family members from the ministry that they boarded a train to Kaduna. That's why we are here. From the question from the protesters, the Minister of Transport, Muhazu Sambo, who resumed office recently, appealed to the family members to give them ample time to study the matter. Do you think members of this? Ministry or this administration are happy about what is happening? Okay. Nobody is happy. The ministry's permanent secretary, Magdalene Ajayi, asked the protesters to also extend the protest to the Ministry of Interior and Defense. By July 28, 2022, the victims who have spent 120 days in captivity. Now, with the assurances coming from the Minister of Transport, Mohazi Sambu, and the representatives of the Nigerian Railway Corporation, NRC, to secure the release of the remaining 43 passengers, thus the captives of these protesters behind me. The time is ticking. Fuke, Ogulalu, 19 years of Buja.